here I'm gonna use this one my SQL database wizard so let's uh, use that one I'm gonna click here and we're gonna set up a new database so it memo underscore WHMCS okay so we're gonna use the database name is under uh, it memo underscore WHMCS you have to remember that so the database name is the whole thing here not just WHMCS but the whole thing it memo underscore WHMCS okay now let's go to the next step my username I'm gonna use WHMCS as well so my username is going to be it memo underscore WHMCS okay pardon my handwriting there so I'm, I'm just gonna make that clear so your um, username will be it memo underscore my username will be it memo underscore WHMCS so not just uh, WHMCS okay 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 now uh, let's define the password password um, I'm gonna use use a strong password always okay so um, let me just use the password generator here okay so we have this password and I'm gonna copy this this whole thing here and take this I have copied it and I'm gonna create user and I'm gonna um, okay after that you have to uh, check here all privileges okay you have to check this one here sorry about that this one here you have to check that one okay so um, check that one and click next step that's it so um, as you can see we have a database with a username it memo underscore whmcs and the username is the same thing so that part is done now remember I just um, I just copied um, um, password I use for my database so I'm gonna save that password so I won't forget it so I'm gonna email myself okay let's use the a new tab here so I'm gonna use eatmemo.com slash webmail and I'm gonna log in my admin this is how cPanel uses the um, webmail login. The, the username should be your username plus your domain.com. Okay. That's going to log me in here. I'm going to click um, Squirrel Mail. And we have that email from WHMCS. And I'm going to email myself now. Okay. I'm going to go compose an email. And I'm gonna email it to myself, admin. So I won't lose this password, okay? So I'm gonna um, send it to myself. So we have that taken care of. So um, okay, let's go back to um, the file manager. So we have this uh, folder, right? WHMCS. Uh, we rename it to clients, and like, let's take a look inside of this folder. Okay, let's uncheck that and double click there. Okay. Now as you can see, we have a install folder here. I'm going to use the circle here, the install folder. You see that one? So we're going to browse into that install folder and we're going to install our WHMCS. Just like that. Okay. Now let's go. 
and uh, open up a new tab here. I'm gonna browse over there. Clients, right? Install, right? Um, and then we're gonna choose install.php. Okay, so here's the installation process. We're going to accept or agree the agreement. Now WHMCS is going to check all your, requir uh, your required um, server configurations and it should pass everything. If not, you should um, follow the instructions um, given on this page and to fix it. And then click recheck requirements. Okay, so um, we have one uh, let's change it to red here as you can see we have one uh, pre-installation um, configuration check fail this one mm, sorry this one as you can see okay so we have to fix that so I'm gonna fix that so we're gonna go back to the um, um, file manager and change the configuration.php file to 777 okay now where is the configuration.php file It's under C so here we go um, here we have the configuration.php and it's new dot new right we have to change that rename it first into .php and then we have to make it writable or 777 so I'm going to click rename here rename and I'm going to remove the new click rename file and then I'm going to change the permission of the folder using um, this one I'm going to circle it for you this one here change permission sorry about that this one okay so let's just do that I'm going to change permission so as WHMCS asks just change it to 777 7 sorry we can actually type on that so let's just check it So let's just check everything here okay okay and click change permission 